this video we're going to talk about uh, the premium video browser and how we can easily look for and find songs um, much easier than we ever have before here at Piano Clubhouse. So with this interface, um, when this premium video page first comes up, of course you're going to notice uh, a list of videos here towards the bottom. Uh, you'll notice some drop down boxes here at the top. There's a search box here. So let's just walk through everything very quickly. Uh, there's currently the page defaults to showing 10 videos at a time. Uh, sorted by published dates. You're always going to see the newest video that's been posted first. Here's the date and going backwards in order of being published. So the first, uh, the newest song that's been published will be here on page one, what we just saw. The oldest song or the first video we've ever published will be way back here on page 158. Let's just click on that. So way back in August 1st of 2009, we published Melodies from Heaven. That was the very first piano clubhouse song. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and click back on page one. So we're back at the beginning. So you can easily just go through page by page and just kind of sift through the songs. It's going to take a while, but you can very easily do that. Um, also, second thing I want to show you. Here you can show more than 10 videos at a time. Right now it defaults to 10 just to kind of keep the page kind of small. But if, if, you, if you're comfortable looking at more, you can let's jump, jump it up to 50. So you can see the page uh, updates in real time. There's no page reloading or anything. So now we've got 50 videos showing on this page. Let's say, you know what, I can handle 100. Let's jump it up to 100. So the page, again, updates in real time. Now we've got a list of songs. Uh, of 100 songs at a time okay let's throw this back to let's go to 25 so that's the first uh, first feature of this uh, let's jump over to of course we see that we have uh, 1573 videos on the site currently and this will tell you how many we're showing on this page let's jump right to the meat of this search browser or video browser which is the searching and the filtering so let's let's check out the search box first. So as you can see here, we kind of give you a hint on what you can search for in this box. You can search for the title of videos or you can search for artist. So I'm going to click in here and let's say we're looking for a Michael Jackson song. So I'll start to type in Michael and as I'm typing, you'll see that uh, the, again, the, uh, the page is updating in real time. Anything with MIC is being thrown into the list. And you can tell up here, there's 120 or not 100, 1 to 25 of 32 videos showing. So your results right now are showing 32 videos have MIC in either the title or the artist. So let's keep on going. Let's go all the way to Michael. So there are 26 videos who have Michael in the artist name or the title. And there's some Michael W. Smith. Uh, this one it has Michael Roll Your Boat Shore. That's where the Michael is. And all these are Michael Jackson or Michael W. Smith. There's a Michael Neal. So you can see, again, in real time, everything's being updated very quickly. So let's add Jackson on there. We'll just add a J. And so that leaves us with all Michael Jackson videos. Uh, again, we have the, the song keys, the video links, the teachers, the published dates. And so once you found what you needed to, you can just click on it and you can go to that video. Um, you can quickly clear this out by either hand deleting it like this, or you can click this X on the right and it'll clear it out for you. The page will refresh. We're back to our beginning list of videos where we have all 1,573 videos showing. Okay. Second thing, second most powerful, there's three powerful things. The second most powerful thing we can use are the filters here at the top. This is my favorite thing to use. So here, we can select by video genre, where again, we select what genre we want. Let's select television songs. And the list at the bottom here is going to update in real time as soon as I show it. So let's make a note that we currently have 1,573 videos. Let's click on television songs. The page just refreshed. There are 32 videos in the television songs category. Okay, there's the I Dream of Jeannie, I Love Lucy, Mission Impossible theme song, 
Ghostbusters. So this is all the television songs. And notice, very important, that the drop-down box will highlight orange when we're using it. So that way you can know when a, fil when a filter is in use or in effect is when it's highlighted. Okay? Um, so let's drop this back to the default. So we're back to our full complement of videos. What if we want to find songs that were just done by, let's say, Daryl Cook? We're just looking for a Daryl Cook song. So I'm going to select Daryl Cook to the instructor. And he has 24 videos on our website. And these are all of the videos that have been done by Daryl Cook. Okay, here's him as an instructor on the right. Uh, let's reset this. What if, and again, we're back to our reset of videos. So now, let's say you're coming and you're, you want to focus your practicing session on the key of A natural. Say that's a key that you're having trouble with and you want to work on A natural. So let's go to the select song key. Let's scroll down to A major. Then the list will refresh in real time. You'll see that we have 87 songs in the key of A that you can go down and uh, find songs to work on. Uh, who we are, flawless, good, good father. Lots of songs in the key of A major. So let's refresh this. So that's a really quick way to uh, use filters generally to find songs and categories that you're looking for. But the most powerful thing I think of the filter and searching system is the ability to combine all four of these functionalities, the search filter combined with a category, with the instructor, with the song key, use all four at the same time to find the exact set of songs that you're looking for. So let's say, for example, uh, let's say we want to find songs by, uh, let's say, Kirk Franklin. So I'm going to type in Kirk Franklin. There are 41 videos by Kirk Franklin. And uh, of course, he's in the gospel category, so we'll click gospel. We drop down to 35. Uh, let's say we want to learn Kirk Franklin songs that were taught by TJ. Because as you can see, we scroll down the list, there are songs by, I think, by Sean Martin by TJ, by Carlton. So there's several teachers doing songs by Kirk Franklin. So we're, we want to, TJ's my favorite teacher. I just want to watch, see his song by Kirk Franklin. So we'll click on TJ. The list drops down to 23. TJ has done 23 songs by Kirk Franklin. Okay, but we want to narrow it down even more. I want to look at just a list of songs by TJ that are by Kirk Franklin that are in the key of C. So we'll click on C, and now we've filtered down to the very uh, most compact list of videos that you're looking for specifically. This is a list of songs by Kirk Franklin, taught by TJ. They're all gospel songs, and they're in the key of C. Okay. Uh, and also note that the drop-down boxes are orange, knowing, showing, indicating that you're using those songs, that you're using those filters, excuse me. So let's say uh, we just want to learn songs, all songs by TJ in the key of F major. It doesn't need to be, we, it doesn't matter who the song is by, it doesn't matter what genre. So I'm going to clear out this uh, Kirk Franklin search box. So here, we have just three, these three boxes being used, and you can see that uh, we have 36 videos that are taught by TJ that are gospel songs in the key of C. But I'm not going to limit it to just gospel songs. Let's say we want to learn a song, all songs by TJ in the key of C. So we'll just reset that back to category. And so TJ has taught. 57 songs in the key of C. So now we're ready to go. We're not going to limit ourselves by genre. Uh, let's drop this all the way to 100 so we can see all of these 57 videos on one page. So these are all the songs TJ has taught or videos in the key of C. Okay.
This is the most powerful way to quickly get to the videos that you're looking for. Uh, last thing, this reset button, it just, instead of going through and manually clicking these uh, to reset them, let me just throw something in there real quick. So when you have these already selected, this reset button here will just quickly reset these back to their default. So I'm just going to click it, and there it goes. Okay. Let me put this back to uh, 10 videos. All right. And we're back to, um, back to the beginning of our tutorial. So... Hopefully that will help you navigate through the videos. A uh, last thing I don't think I showed you uh, is th these columns, they can be sorted. So right now we're sorted by newest video to oldest. You can click on this column heading here and then it'll reverse. Now it's sorted from oldest video down to the newest. Uh, you can sort by title. So here is the uh, title in alphabetical order. So this is going ascending. Click it again, it'll go descending. So this is the Y, of course, the last video in alphabetical order. You can sort by artist, ascending or descending. You can sort by song key, ascending or descending. Same thing, say if you want to look for the shortest video, you can learn a 736 progression in one minute. You can learn Jay-Z's glory in two minutes, okay? Uh, say you just want to search by teacher or sort by teacher, you can. Um, it's probably easier instead of sorting by teacher to just use uh, just use the instructor drop box here. That's a quicker way to do it, where you can see all of them. But that's it, I'm gonna hit the reset to bring everything back to the way it was. Uh, let's sort by publish date to get it back to where it was when we began the tutorial. That should be it. This has been TJ, giving you a walkthrough of how to use our premium video browser. Thanks for watching.